YouTube, my name is Mark. This is Nixon Motorsports Garage. This channel is all about motorsports, from race cars to exotic cars and even simulators. Today's video is the installation lap of our assembled uh, conversion project this year. And this was the MoTeC conversion project, if you've seen the previous videos. So um, come on, follow along. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll show you the process and the steps we make through today, all right? Thanks. up there. the radio Turn the fire up. Okay. Let's check radios. Check, check. Thirty minutes. Okay, let's warm this up. and unplug. I'm a little cold, so we can uh, warm it here for a minute. I'm going to be doing break-in laps too, okay, same thing. Cool. Awesome. We're good. Yeah, my oil's a little cold, but I think we can go out. I'm taking it easy anyway. You guys hear me?
Just do a walk around, make sure you don't see anything crazy. I see some smoke, what's going on? Should I kill it? No. I cannot hear you. Okay. I can't hear you. The air tube from the side pod was touching the header. Yeah, that would do it. So let's do one more. Well, should we just do one more and go straight in the garage? What do you guys think? Everything else looks clean. I wouldn't see why you couldn't do a couple laps if you want. Uh, tell you what, then why don't we do this? I'll I'll actually do two laps. I'll do one full lap, then taking it easy, and then on that that second lap, I'll roll straight into the garage. Okay. I'm going to try to start it in first gear with the clutch in since we're having trouble, so see if that works. Uh, it's a Geartronics thing. You guys have uh, the telemetry working, right? That's awesome. Okay, let's see if I can get it started here with clutch in. Meet you in the garage.
comes some sprinkles. Did you get any telemetry working? Couldn't get it back in the neutral. We need to work on the shifting for sure. <clears throat> there a bunch of water under the mat? There is. Yeah, there was beforehand. That's when we were leaking earlier. Hey YouTube, hi uh, Mark. Um, so we uh, we got the car out on the track, um, did a couple um, installation laps, um, three or four, kind of in that range. Found a, found a few little things, normal, right? Um, took care of those, um, not not an issue at all. And um, we did have a, a a small little challenge though that we had to work through. Uh, we found a um, software bug. Apparently, uh, in the uh, the Geartronics um, package that we're using for shifting, and um, uh, basically it's a, a, a function called half shifts, um, and uh, it works uh, going into neutral, um, getting out of neutral. Uh, it seems to have some issues, so um, we think we have a workaround in the car now. So we took care of that, but that that took a couple days uh, to get that in place. Um, we're ready to go. Uh, now the car um, the car performs extremely well. The uh, the Motec uh, and the tune on the engine is fantastic. And um, uh, another change that we did, if you saw some of the other clips that I had, uh, I, I put the 2017 ZX10 uh, R motor that I had as a backup in the car. Since then. And after I got my my 2019 back from Dyno, uh, we pulled that. We we swapped. So uh, we we have the the 19 back in the car again, and um, we're ready to go. So next week we'll have hopefully another just couple runs, very small, short duration, and uh, we're building up for the um, for the May race that I talked to you about. So. So the May race is uh, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Um, we'll actually be on the track, the entire team out doing testing, full day of testing on the 6th. Um, we'll run um, partial testing on the 7th as well. So two days back to back, and then of course the double header race weekend. So you'll see, uh, you'll see a handful of videos through that, um, being that they'll probably be relatively long. I'll break it into sections, so you'll see uh, you'll see us when we're doing our testing um, and see the team kind of doing their thing. I think you'll enjoy that. And uh, each day, uh, so Saturday for an example and Sunday, but Saturday they start with qualifying in the morning and uh, then the race will happen sometime uh, in the afternoon. So uh, I'll break those up so you'll see race day uh, you know, one, you'll see race day two. And again, drag you along so you uh, you follow along everything everything that's going on. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me just do a quick walk around the car here for you. So most of the videos you've seen, um, you know, the car's been up. Um, this is just another shot of what the car looks like on the ground. Now the engine cover is off. That's fine. Normally do that for warm up purposes. So let me just walk around the car. Give you a good idea of what it looks like. On the ground, right? So 
there's the rear of the car. Now we'll be running a couple different tire combinations for testing. These are the uh, 10 inch wide Avons in the rear and uh, 8 inch Avons in the front. This started, what was it, November, December, end of 2020, and uh, here we are. Uh, it's May just around the corner, so this was a lot of work. Um, the car's electronics and wiring, all of those things, as I've said in the past, were completely replaced and updated. Um, so now we have to drive, we have to get out and hustle this thing. Uh, and. Um, Anyway, I hope I hope you've enjoyed this so far and uh, we will talk soon.